For centuries, humanity has peered out to the stars, yearning to understand our place in the cosmos. Amidst the empty expanses and inhospitable worlds, Earth stands out as a unique haven. Our planet, a delicate blue speck, a single point of light among billions. But lurking in the shadows are silent killers, remnants from billions of years past. Asteroids. These celestial nomads born during the solar system's creation meander through space. Unseen, unheard, they drift until their paths by chance cross ours. And when that happens, the consequences are earth-shattering. Uh, hang on. This is a planet impact, not an asteroid. Ah, yes, here we go. So, even an asteroid collision could reshape the very surface of our planet. First, let's take a step back in time to 66 million years ago. A massive asteroid about 10 kilometers in diameter struck the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The aftermath of this impact caused the extinction of the dinosaurs and changed life on Earth as we know it. Fast forward to today, where astronomers scan the skies and catalog near-Earth objects. These objects include asteroids and comets within 120 million miles of the Sun. The probability of a catastrophic asteroid impact in our lifetimes might seem low, but if one did hit, it could be cataclysmic. Even a relatively small one, about a kilometer in diameter, could release energy, equivalent to thousands of nuclear weapons detonating at the same time. The resulting shock waves would cause earthquakes and volcanic eruptions across the globe. Vast amounts of dust and debris would be thrown into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and cooling the Earth's climate. This would lead to a phenomenon known as an impact winter, a prolonged period of cold, dark conditions that could last for years. This sudden shift in climate would lead to global food shortages and famine. If the asteroid hit water, it would send tsunamis racing across the ocean, causing widespread coastal destruction. Giant waves would engulf cities and kill millions. Depending on the size of the asteroid, the planet's biodiversity could be significantly affected. A big enough asteroid would lead to mass extinctions as species struggle to adapt to the rapidly changing environment. So how do we protect our planet from these rocks of doom? The answer lies in a combination of advanced monitoring and futuristic defense strategies. Agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency have developed programs specifically for tracking these dangerous asteroids, and we will eventually be able to deflect them, which is what the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART mission, successfully tested in 2022. By the way, if you want to watch a video about asteroids hitting the Earth, click on the video above. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe to the channel. Every subscriber makes a difference. Now let's shift our focus to a cosmic threat that you see every day, our own sun. Although the sun enables life, it also has a dark side and can create powerful world-ending events. These include solar flares, which are intense bursts of radiation that come from the release of magnetic energy in the sun's atmosphere. Although solar flares have been a constant fact throughout our history, there is much more focus on them now. With civilization at a technological peak, our reliance on sophisticated systems means that a major solar storm could wreak havoc on the intricate fabric of our society. These flares unleash a barrage of high-energy particles that can disrupt radio communications on Earth. This not only affects our music or TV channels, but can also interfere with aviation communications, GPS systems, and even cell phone reception. Moreover, these particles can penetrate the atmosphere and reach airline passengers on cross-country trips, potentially increasing their radiation exposure. Aircraft cabins provide shielding from these particles, but they can't provide protection against larger solar storms. This is a big problem on long flights near the poles where the Earth's magnetic field is weaker. And it's especially dangerous for airline crew who are always in the air and will be exposed to more and more radiation over time. But it's not only people. Electronic equipment can also be affected, which then adds more risk to the entire airplane. Similar to solar flares, coronal mass ejections are colossal waves of solar wind and magnetic fields expelled from the sun's corona. When these waves interact with Earth's magnetic field, they have the potential to induce geomagnetic storms. The intensity of these storms can vary, and some could be incredibly powerful. The 1859 Carrington event, 
a massive geomagnetic storm caused significant disruptions and damage to the telegraph network at the time. Operators reported sparks leaping from their equipment, some of which were severe enough to start fires. In today's world, where our infrastructure and daily lives are intertwined with advanced technology, the impact of a similar event could be exponentially greater. Imagine a massive geomagnetic storm that damages satellite systems governing our GPS system, emergency services, car navigation systems, and other critical sectors relying on precisely timed signals could face catastrophe. Power grids are especially vulnerable. A severe storm could overload transformers and cause widespread power outages. The result would be a blackout that spans entire continents and would last for months because the damaged equipment is usually complex and custom-made components that cannot easily be manufactured. Transportation networks would be paralyzed. Internet and communication networks would collapse, and even the water supply could be severely damaged. Thankfully, technology is on our side. Satellites like the Solar Dynamics Observatory and the Parker Solar Probe give us insights into solar activity and help scientists improve their predictions of solar storms. Now let's turn our gaze to one of the most violent events in the universe, gamma ray bursts. These are not just ordinary bursts of energy, they are the most energetic events since the Big Bang and are visible from across the galaxy. These occur when a massive star collapses into a black hole or when two neutron stars merge. It's an event of almost incomprehensible power. If one of the intense jets of gamma rays were to hit Earth directly, the effects would be catastrophic. First, the intense radiation would have the immediate effect of stripping away the Earth's ozone layer. This protective layer in our atmosphere acts as a shield, absorbing most of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. Without it, UV radiation would reach the Earth's surface unimpeded. The increase in radiation would not only be lethal for many forms of life, especially those in aquatic environments and at the surface, but it would also drastically alter the chemistry of our atmosphere. One of the most immediate consequences for life, including humans, would be the increased risk of skin cancer. The elevated amounts of ultraviolet light landing on the surface would decimate plant life, especially phytoplankton, which form the basis of the oceanic food chain. This would lead to a collapse of ecosystems, resulting in mass extinctions and a drastic reduction in biodiversity. The gamma rays would also initiate chemical reactions in the atmosphere, creating compounds like nitrogen oxides. A chain reaction would further alter the atmosphere, leading to changes in the global climate. These changes could include drastic temperature fluctuations, altered precipitation patterns leading to droughts and floods, shifts in ocean currents affecting global climate systems, and disruptions to the jet stream. With critical ecosystems breaking down, there would be an immediate impact on agriculture, leading to food shortages and famine. The aftermath of such an event would be long-lasting. Recovery would take centuries. The long-term survival of humanity and many other species would be at risk, and we would have to drastically adapt to a harsh and unforgiving environment. The scale of destruction and the long-term impacts on our planet would be unlike anything witnessed in recorded history. However, the good news is that these events are very rare. The vastness of space and the infrequency of these catastrophic bursts provide a protective buffer, making the likelihood of a direct hit on Earth extremely low. We hope you enjoyed this look at cosmic threats. If you liked what you watched, please like and subscribe. It makes a difference. Until the next time.